一级咨询。Of Game Night with G. First of all, thank you to everyone that's joining us, making this so much of fun. But also, let me tell you that as we're nearing the end, the guests just keep getting more and more exciting. All right. So now we have a team all the way from Manchester, England, joining us on Game Night with G in Pondicherry. Please welcome. Uh, well, let me tell you a little bit about them first. Samantha and Divish. Not really done a whole lot of Instagram live, so I'm really, really happy to have them on our show. Devish Charan, maybe about one or two Insta lives is what I heard, and I'm really excited to see Samantha too on the show. So let me not waste any more time. Please welcome Team Slow Motion Angreza. What's up? <laughs> This uh, warm-up was fully inspired for you guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, <laughs> solid dancing. I I I can't wait to see uh, your intro after this when I see how, what you guys came up with. First Working. of all, thanks a lot for joining me on the show, guys. I hope I got it right. Devish, this is your first or second Insta live, and Samantha <laughs> debut performance. Is that right? Yeah, first and only time, I think. <laughs> Oh, you never know. What if you make one of the highest scores on game night, and we need you back? You never know. Yeah, another quiz. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Devish, how you been, man? How's everything there in England? Yeah, not too bad. I uh, got to compete last weekend, which was great. Um, you know, uh, played uh, played a domestic tournament, but I played with Vijay. Right. Great fun playing with him. I saw that. I saw that. I saw that video, and one of my favorite parts of that whole video was. Uh, One of those easy forehands that your opponent had, and he went straight for which I remember that. But I think you guys still ended up winning that point. Yeah, yeah, no, that was fun. Okay, but welcome to Game Night with G. Enough of the tennis talk. I'm excited to bring you guys onto the show because I know Divish and Samantha. You guys have been watching our episodes, and uh, for those of you quickly joining us right now, the highest score scored so far was by Team Psycho Racket. Might be a little bit of an Got close to impossible score to beat at 970, but I know Divich, and he's going to give it his best. I know Samantha the same way, isn't that right? Yeah, well, uh, I I don't think I'll lose heart if uh, if we don't get a massive total because. <laughs> yeah, I will. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, okay, okay. I I know you guys are going to do well. I saw Samantha's uh, Insta post earlier where she said it takes competition to bring her on Insta Live, so she's pumped for yeah. this. I know that. I love a quiz, yeah. <laughs> right. Well, this is what this is what game night is all about. A little bit of fun banter. So, for those of you who don't know that much about Samantha, what we do know is that one third of her name is Indian. How much more Indian do you think you're going to be at the end of the show, Samantha? Let's get a, let's get a percentile over here. Well, what would been... the percentage be? Well, I'm not sure the percentage, but I've been watching. I know all the answers are skewed to an Indian survey, so. I, I'm trying to I, think. I, I, that's true. That's true. But I've decided to use a little bit of uh, how do I say it? British influence for this episode. Okay, there's a little bit of British influence for sure. Okay. And my last question before we begin game night is: uh, 
Samantha, can you tell me at the Sharan household over there in Manchester, is Manchester blue or is Manchester red? Definitely red. <laughs> Definitely red. Okay, I guess they would just have to give that answer. <laughs> All right, so welcome back everyone. And so now what we're gonna do really quickly for those of you who are watching the show for the first time with uh, Divish and Samantha joining us is the first game is three parts, three questions. I have the top five answers with me. And as always, feel free to use the comment section answers, guys. Uh, just give out as many answers as you can. I have my scorekeeper and timekeeper uh, making sure that I heard everything you guys said. If not, we'll see how it goes. Uh, but Anyway, do uh, you guys want to wish them anything? Any good luck? Do you want to come up? They're too so shy to get on stage, but let them come. <laughs> Hi guys! Hi the bitch! Hi Ty! Good luck! Thank good you. luck! See you guys! You guys are doing good job. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, I see, I see uh, Vishal wasn't happy with my question there. Hey man, certain questions needed to be asked, you know? <laughs> certain questions needed to be asked. We're a lot of uh, lost connection. I'd have said blue, I think. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, guys. So we all know the drill here. We have uh, one minute on the clock. Naya is going to quickly show it to you. And uh, just keep giving me your best possible answers. And uh, obviously use the comment section. All right. Okay, let's do this. In slow motion, Angreza, name some things that has strings attached to it strings attached to it uh guitar uh yes tennis. number one keep going uh, racket yeah instruments violin guitar um, and racket number one and number two keep going violin yeah. is my number five you got three out of the five two more things two more things that have strings attached to it a puppet puppets yeah. That's a, good a puppet one. did you say puppet That's yeah right. sorry man. I need to get used to that. Kai. <laughs> you got you got four out of five. Did you get to Kai. Did you, you said Kai. Yeah. Wow. Is that that's some kind of record? Wow. That was an unbelievable start, guys. Wow. We uh, we got some help from the. Oh, Come on. Well, that's how the game works here. As you can see, name some things that have strings attached to it. Guitar number one. Tennis racket. Any racket. I heard Divish come in with kite. Puppet, yeah. sorry, Samantha. I, I didn't understand puppet. My accent is not ready <laughs> for your accent yet. <laughs> and of course, violin. Okay. So, wow. 100 out of 100. Great start. <laughs> wow. Okay, guys. Divish, what do you think, man? Did you, does that uh, settle the nerves a little bit? A solid start? Feels, yeah. Feels like an early break, no? When you get yeah. something like that? Uh, physio, uh, physio breaks or what in this game? <laughs> <laughs> No, no, uh, uh, this, this is more like a super tie break. There's no, there's no breaks. You just got to go for it. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Second question, another perfect start by a team. Slow motion, Angreza. What comes to mind when I say the word bunny? Bunny. Bunny. Uh, pets. Uh, bad at tennis or bad at something. A rocket. <laughs> Keep going. Bed. A bunny. Uh, um, Pets, yeah, okay. What else? Easter. Easter, yeah. yeah. That's my number two answer. Uh, Uracel. What's a bunny? Think of, uh, I see something in the comment section maybe. Uracel, carrots. Carrots, uh, yes. Uh, hop. 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 Totally not hop. Hop. Yeah, hop, hop and long ears. I have both of those. Good job. They're together. Um, I, I'm still missing the number one answer with bunny though. Think about bunnies. You have 30 seconds. Sorry. Bugs, bugs. Um, Bugs Bunny. I'm only missing the five pointer now. This is a little bit of a googly five pointer. You have four out of five. What do you think? Anything else that comes to mind with bunnies? Uh, I might be giving some general knowledge trivia. No. Nothing? Nothing else? Okay, okay. Well, good job, guys. You got four out of five. And let me quickly show you what you missed, okay? What comes to mind over here was I thought of the Playboy logo. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to be mean and put it much higher, but the Playboy logo does come to mind with Bunny. <laughs> Bugs Bunny, number one. Easter yeah. Bunny, carrots. I heard hopping from Divich. 
Yeah. Or Easter for Samantha, which is a great answer, and ninety-five over there. See, I, I was thinking along the other lines. In in the UK, if someone's bad at tennis, you call them a bunny. So my head was good. <laughs> I didn't know that. I'm, I'm yeah. learning something. Okay, okay. So if I play, a, if, so if I play a bad match, I should say I played like an absolute bunny today. Is that yeah. what I should say? Okay, <laughs> I got to add the absolute. Okay, I got it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Vishal, we we are definitely keeping it PG thirteen, but I'm moving it up. One level to, I say a little bit more fun question over here. Okay, this is my favorite question out of the three. Okay, so let's say Samantha and Devich, you guys are walking down the street in Gotham City, Gotham City. Okay. Okay. And there was a crime. A crime happened, but you see Batman escaping the crime scene. <laughs> so, what words would you say to describe Batman to the police? Your time starts now. Uh, he's got K. Number one, yes. Batmobile. What did you say? The bat. No, he was walking. He didn't have a Batmobile. Um, he bat he's got a a bat logo. <laughs> Black. Bat logo. Number two answer. Great, Samantha. What else? Um, mask. He's wearing the mask, just like everyone else right now. Um. Um. He was with. No, keep going, keep going. But you gave me one, two, and three. I'm looking for four and five right now. What else comes to mind when you want to think about Batman? No, no. Did we say black already? Yeah, black, black and uh, yellow. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, he's, he's sometimes is wearing gray suit. He's wearing a black suit, so I didn't go there. But what else is iconic uh, with Batman? Something that he's known for. He has it on him all the time when he's walking around. It helps him out a lot. Five seconds to go. Yes, so my like, smile says cape. We already got cape. The what? That's for? time. That's time. The flag. Okay. What was that, Samantha? I was thinking of like you know the bat. Um, I don't know what's called bat, the, the bat symbol. The bat yeah. symbol. Uh, no, but that's 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 in uh, that's at the bat cave, not in it with him. What is with him though? He was wearing a cape. He was having the bat logo on, and he was wearing the mask. But what we missed were four and five. He was wearing the utility belt, the bat utility belt, oh. where he keeps the batarangs, and he was wearing boots. He's Should always in boots. I, I, I was, I thought you'd get the belt, but the boots was a stretch. But you got oh, the, you got I, three out. You got the top three. I'd have got the boots, but not the belt. Ah, okay. Still, a, yeah. still, a but, down. Oh. Yeah. But that's still, that's still really solid. That's really solid. Two hundred and seventy-five out of three hundred, guys. Take it for sure, no? We'll take that for sure. That's a good yeah. start. No, no, five more. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have much more room for error. <laughs> But anyway, what is another really good news, though, is even if you do mess up a little more, no problem. You guys are still in the hunt for a lot of desserts because my sugar monkeys is still on board with us, and they have said that whenever you guys do come to Chennai, which is which can happen, or whenever you come to India. Uh, Cindy from My Sugar Monkeys, whatever dessert, healthy, non-healthy, whatever the Sharan household wants, uh, Sugar Monkeys have got you covered. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. Thanks. I'll have both. All you gotta do is reach that 800 club, and even if you don't reach that 800 club, I, there is one question that they are gonna ask you. If you get that right, you still get the dessert. So either way, you have a great chance with it with this start. All right. Yeah. So, second game of the night, guys, is uh, uh, what is it? Quick wit. Quick. Sorry, I keep forgetting the track of the games. But quick wit is the second game, and as you know, uh, one player from the team steps forward. The other player can help out, but I need the answer out of the player that's playing. Uh, so, who's going to represent slow motion, Angreta, first? I feel uh, I feel Sam's a stronger member of the team, so I think I should go first because she can handle the pressure later on. <laughs> Ah, okay, okay. No, Devish, come on, man. I know you can handle pressure. You don't win Asian Game gold medals and quarterfinals of Wimbledon and stuff without handling pressure. So don't be so modest. Game night with G is a different ball game. So yeah, this is a different <laughs> ball game for sure. <laughs> Five questions with me. So Devish, that is going, huh? All right, Devish. Ready. Forty-five seconds on the clock. Our yeah. Timekeeper is ready. She she has a text message. Ah, okay, she's back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. When I read out the question, your time starts. I'll take the first answer that you say. 
Name something that has a face. Has what? Has a face. Has a face. A uh, person. Name a part of the body that people change with plastic surgery. Nose. Name a food you crave in the middle of the night. Chocolate. Name something people do when they meditate. Uh, breathe. Okay. What's the most important quality that an employee at Vivid Sharan Industries should have? The most important quality. Discipline. Well, let's Google it there for you, man. <laughs> and that question was tailor made for me. <laughs> I know it was. Let's see if uh, people are in the same train of thought as Vivid. The top you did really well. You did really well. I'm going to tell you your score right now. Okay. Name something that has a face. took some time but you said a person that was our number one answer animal at number 2 a clock has a face some, something that has a face maybe a mask and a doll but i wanted person and you got that great start name a part of the body that people change with the plastic surgery number one answer nose uh, lips breast facelift and uh, samantha i think you'll appreciate my spelling at the last one there <laughs> thanks all right, <laughs> all right devich i don't know you as someone who's having a lot of uh, junk food cravings but you said chocolate so i'm learning something about you uh and name a food the number one thing though was ice cream chocolate's coming in second uh -huh. not number 2 chips at number 3 uh that's called crisps right in england yeah. crisps yeah okay, okay. crisps and then cake and pizza pizza i guess if you miss dinner <laughs> so something people do when they meditate devich do you meditate by the way no uh, sometimes yeah sometimes okay yeah. uh close your eyes was number 1 chanting was number 2 breathe was number 3 good answer had to go somewhere and it was number 3 relax and focus either uh -huh. word would have been for 10 points and sit down cross your legs that was number 5 now yeah. you said okay this is the, this is the googly here but you i answer googly back I, with this answer number one answer because i am giving the answer <laughs> yeah it's your company though yeah, yeah but apparently i am in charge of hiring so let's see what uh -huh. i was looking for what's the most important quality an employee at divit sharan industry should have Number one answer I had was honesty, integrity was what people said. Integrity and honesty, loyalty at two, discipline, responsibility, dependable at three. They're all the same. Uh, hard, no, no, sorry, no, no. Discipline goes with hard working, right? Okay, I'm gonna. I'll review where that goes. I know it goes in a three or four. I didn't have the actual word, but we'll figure that part out. And on time and punctual was number five. Okay. <laughs> Uh, this, this this is what's happening at Divisharan Industries apparently. Okay. Yeah, let's make it three for now. Third answer for now, and that will keep them at uh, one forty. We have you at one hundred and forty out of two hundred. Okay. So best answer on that on that which we've given you the higher one there. Okay, so the way it works now, Samantha, the stronger player coming in to seal it up. Okay. I figure that you are the stronger player, so I must warn you. This is a little bit tougher than Devish's question. Okay. A little bit. A little bit. Okay. Now, Samantha, your time starts after I read out the first question. Name an occupation someone with a fear of heights should never consider an occupation. Yeah. Anything? Yeah. Can you say that again? Pilot. Pilot. Okay. Continue. Name something people have trouble controlling. Uh, temper. Name something you might be asked to bring to a friend's party. Uh, drinks, alcohol. Okay. Name a kitchen utensil you would use to bake a cake from scratch. A kitchen utensil. Yeah. Yeah. A uh, mixer. Name a responsibility that young people are not prepared for. A responsibility young people aren't prepared for. 
Quick, quick, quick. Uh, I mean, three. Yeah. What did she say? I didn't hear what did you say? Ah, I skipped again. I skipped again. Sorry, I lost you for a second. Job. 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 Okay. Nice. Well done. Okay, you guys did really solid, by the way. That's all I can say for now. Name an occupation someone with a fear of heights should never consider. A high-rise construction worker. Two. Bungee jump instructor, but pilot at number three. Pilot was at number three. Skydiving instructor, window cleaner at a high-rise building, a painter was at number five. Okay, the good answer with pilot. Name something that. people have trouble controlling. You said temper. Temper oh. was number one. <laughs> spending oh. habits, troubles with uh, spending habits, trouble controlling their ideal weight, uh, trouble controlling their appetite, and Trouble controlling kids. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't know about that. That's why I put it at five. <laughs> Name something you might be asked to bring to a friend's party. This is where I realized that you are your British side actually came out to play. Okay, because in India, for the most part, I know we bring like dry fruits. I mentioned this earlier. There's dry fruits. There's like snacks and food. So unfortunately, the Indian survey had food at number one, alcohol uh at number two. Okay. <laughs> And then music, if you had to bring some music, maybe some party games. And if you want to bring some more guests to the party. So that's what we have there. Thank you, my brother. Right. Thank you. I wouldn't huh? be able to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Name a kitchen utensil you would use to bake a cake. Okay. The mic you said a mixer, right? You said a mixer? Yeah. It's the number one answer. A whisk. Egg beater is the number one answer. This is, I think, the toughest question for most people on the survey. You said the right thing with a mixer, uh, basically to beat the eggs, and then a bowl, a mixing bowl was number two. A wooden spoon, spatula, measuring cup, and then the mold. So, but it doesn't matter. You've given us the number one answer. Yeah. Name a responsibility that young people are not prepared for. You said job. We had a little bit of a glitch on the internet, but I heard job finally. Job and finance was the number one answer. Yes. Wow. Really well done. A lot of people uh, agreed with you on this. It was between job, marriage, and parenthood. And I guess you guys went with job and you got rewarded. Well done. I had a very solid score of wow. 580 points. Out of 700. So now, guys, uh, it's you know what segment's next. For the audience that doesn't know what's next, it's the who's more likely competition. Everyone's been scoring pretty high in this segment. Uh, can't do much about that. Difficult to catch people on this when they know each other as well as they do. Yeah. Uh, obviously... Uh, Balaji and Mithun dropped a few points on this. If you've been following the show, they were they uh, didn't perform that well. Let's just say that in this segment. I'd, but anyway, I'd... guys, so the way it works, I'm going to read out a question. Yeah. You guys are going to point either to yourself or to your partner with your eyes closed. If you get the correct point to the same person, 30 points, chance to make 300 points. All right. Okay, let's do this. All right, so team slow motion, Angreza, close yeah. your eyes, hands together. And where I can see him, perfect. All right. Between Sam and Divich, who is more likely to make a better pasta carbonara? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Chef Sharon, open your eyes. Yeah. Divich, you were pretty confident there, huh? Confident no. with your cooking. On my cooking skills uh, in this during this lockdown, so um, yeah, I guess that's one of my special. Actually, not a carbonara, no, but <laughs> I think I'll I'll probably make it better. <laughs> All right, Sam, not working on the cooking, huh? Working on the volleys. I saw you guys have been working on the volleys, though. That's yeah. Fun. No, I've realized I really hate cooking, so yeah. <laughs> it took a lockdown to figure that. All right. It did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Second question for Team Slow Motion. Close your eyes. All right. I'm uh, 
you guys have visitors in manchester or let's say you have visitors actually in in uh, hawaii let's just pick a neutral destination who is more likely to be a better tour guide open your eyes oh. wow guys yeah. village tour guide yeah i just just feel i'll give it a more like personalized <laughs> experience oh sam yeah. sam you know what you meant if it's like a good host it's divid if it's like show you a million things to do it's me but i thought you meant a host so that's divid <laughs> yeah it was it was a tour guide so a tour guide can do whatever they want they might right. you want to do a million things they might want to show you some sites i know that divid uh, when we when we played in istanbul was on it with the travel like he knew where uh, we went to see what was it uh, the blue mosque We went and saw the blue mosque and things like that. You guys, you know what you're doing when you're in different cities. I know that. Yeah, so, you stayed with me there once as well. Oh yeah. <laughs> awesome. So two out of two, nothing uh, less than expected for sure. You guys are on it. Uh, let's move to the third question. Close your eyes. <laughs> Between you two, who is more likely to have better dance moves? uh devich meditating <laughs> open your eyes <laughs> well, you doing took your time with that one jeez me <laughs> yeah, all right three out of three <laughs> devich uh, there's no there's no time violation on game night with jeep but obviously it's... i i know how much hard work i had to put in for my dance uh, for our dance uh, for a wedding dance yeah yeah <laughs> i don't think that samantha had to work as hard as you for sure for no. that <laughs> all righty let's move on to question number 4 okay just 10 questions so we move on to close your eyes guys let me just quickly get to the next one All right, Devish and Sam, both of you are uh, walking around uh, Wimbledon, having a stroll past Orangi. Tell me, who is more likely to love being at Wimbledon? Okay. <laughs> Wimbledon, man, Wimbledon's Wimbledon's uh, the the dream. I'm sure it's Sam's dream too. <laughs> But I'm always there just watching him no. so I get bored. <laughs> that that was a tough one though. David David is uh, taking a page out of uh, Doc SM's book taking his time pacing himself <laughs> but not making a mistake. He's on it so far. Four out of four for team slow motion. I like it. All right, let's move on to question number 5, okay? Okay. I think I this this was one of my gimme questions but let's see if it is No not a googly easy one Oh easy is, okay. uh, close your eyes who is, who is more likely to over plan everything Open your eyes Is that I didn't see that coming <laughs> I I didn't see that coming Sam No <laughs> No no I didn't cuz I only hang out with David enough to know Uh, how meticulous he is with his planning. <laughs> no, I, I would even more. <laughs> wow, wow, that's news for me, man. It's news for everyone. <laughs> and now I know where Devish gets it from. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm quicker at planning it as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so five out of five, guys. Not surprised. Superb. Okay, last five questions. Doing really solid. Close your eyes. You guys have had a good week of training. Uh who is more likely to eat more junk food on a day off? Yeah, yeah, both I didn't see that coming either. Yeah, both even I didn't see that coming and I didn't see it coming in this question too. I'm learning so much about you too. He did took it for like 2 years. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Two years, man. No, no sugar. That's fantastic. Wow, that's an effort. 
Well, I, I'm not surprised though. I know, I know just how disciplined you are with your with your work ethic. So that doesn't surprise me. It might surprise uh, everyone else over here, but that's what they which is all about. <laughs> so, what I what's happening now is we're moving on to question seven, seven, six out of six. Close your eyes, guys. All right. Who is more likely to have more frequent flyer travel points? <laughs> That's an easy one. <laughs> I guarantee that one. Yeah. It doesn't have to be just uh, frequent flyer points. It could be any points, right? This guy with the uh, married points, the flying points. Tell us, bro, how many platinum statuses are you? I love, I love that question. <laughs> <laughs> that was scheduled to be one of my easy ones. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's move on to the next one. Final three. Close your eyes. This is a. Uh, let's see. Who is more likely between Sam and Devich to like the city of Manchester more? All right. All right. I, I figured. I mean, Wimbledon went to you, so I just thought that the whole of England is going to go to you, but I guess not. <laughs> Okay, okay, class guys, class, eight out of eight. Last two questions, almost a perfect game so far. Yeah, we've done surprisingly well. I was thinking that we we're gonna, yeah, get a few questions wrong for sure. I mean, <laughs> almost did on the dancing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. right. <laughs> okay, Bob's wants a lefty out wide slider type question coming from me. <laughs> All right, let me see what I have here. Close your eyes, guys. Who is more likely to spend hours deciding where to eat? I, th I think you already answered that from earlier. You got it. <laughs> nah, Bob. I, I don't have anything to get Devish right now, man. These guys are playing a perfect game. Nine out of nine. Even before I ask certain questions, they're giving me the answer. I was reading this and thinking, oh, I know the answer to this. <laughs> so we just—it's just like a surprise, and then suddenly we hear the questions like, oh yeah, this one we got. <laughs> nine out of nine. Final question. Right. Close your eyes. Between Sam and Devish, who is more likely to spend more time warming up for a tennis match? I know you guys spend a lot of time. And that doesn't surprise me. That one doesn't surprise me at all. <laughs> I, 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 you have it, guys. You guys went ten out of ten. Another couple that's gone ten out of ten on the uh, who's more likely section. How do you guys think you did? I think you guys did really well. Yeah, I mean, I think a few questions in the beginning were a bit tricky, but then towards the end, I think it was very. You loosened up. You loosened up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think anyone spends longer warming up. I don't think so either. I swear, because I remember there was one time. Uh, I don't remember where it was. I I think it was in China. They wish we were playing a tournament, and I felt that I had come in early to practice. Okay, I I really thought that I had, I took like maybe the second bus of the day, or maybe at nine a.m. or something, and I got to the tennis center, and before I'm reaching the physio room, you're already in the gym warming up, and we had the same practice time. I was like, okay, this guy must have left at 8 a.m. <laughs> so yeah, that was pretty obvious. But I also know that Samantha, you've had uh, some injury issues, so I figured that you'd also obviously take a warm up pretty seriously. Yeah, right? mine, mine's probably an hour, an hour and a half, and he's up to about two hours. But I so, think yeah. she, she does her. Uh, she spends more time on her rehab exercises, and, and so I, I don't think so. Like my, 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 my I think so for sure. <laughs> One time we actually left Wimbledon after the security. That's how long it. No, took. this was, was this was the, this was Sunday in between where yeah. they don't have uh, matches, and I the, the guy at the gate was literally waiting for me uh, for me to leave so he could close the gate. <laughs> yeah, man, you have to finish the cool down, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, what what can you say? You got to do what you got to do. <laughs> But guys, I'm just getting my evaluation in on how you did. Okay, it's a very high total. You have succeeded in joining. The 800 club. In fact, you have gotten to 880 points. Well done. That's a massive total. As you all can see, 
ten out of ten in the who's more likely to section, and Devich few uh, good answers but just didn't make the top of the list, and Sam the stronger player like Devich said uh, got to score one sixty five. I know you like your numbers and your stats, Devich. That's why I'm showing you everything in detail Perfect. on how we do it here at Game Night with G. Well detailed, yeah. But now listen, there's still chances to make more points. Okay. Yeah, everyone knows and everyone's very excited for what's coming up next. I don't know what the talent is, guys. It is the talent section and it is a chance to make more points. All right. So you guys take over. Let me know what's happening. Well, uh, this is this is going to be very tricky because uh, you you know I'm I'm so like multi-talented. So I it was tough for me to <laughs> to choose. Yeah, what... it was tough to pick a talent. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> So, uh, but um, yeah, let's 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 give few a, a try and and let's see if if the audience uh, audience likes anything. But uh, my my number one talent is to annoy Sam. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> um, <sighs> this is a pen. I'll ask Sam to check that it's a, it's a real pen. Yeah, Can so I see it? It is a real pen, Sam. Okay, I trust uh, I don't you. Think anybody in this uh, this trick, uh, but I'm gonna make it into uh, rubber. All right. This is a strong start to the talent section. <laughs> you can't heckle your partner, Sam. <laughs> um, I when I was thinking of what I can do, I just remembered one of my talents. Uh, basically, a few days back at home in Delhi, we had a peacock come over, like. It's never happened, I guess, because of the lockdown. You know, we're seeing strange things, yeah, yeah. and uh, I realized that I can uh, make a peacock noise. So anybody who's watching, just just be cautious. Like, don't get like startled or or don't get scared suddenly. So wait, I, wait, I am I hearing this right? You're going to make the sound of a peacock. That's correct. What's going to happen? Yes. Everyone, get your cameras ready. This is a YouTube moment for sure. Okay. <laughs> All right, bro. You got I, the screen. I'm pumped up for this. <laughs> Okay, warm up. I, I know you need time. Take your time warming up. No problem. <laughs> One more time. One more time. I, uh, the boops and everyone says we need. Uh. They need three. They need three. I need one more. I need one more. Pretty good, man. That's actually really good. That's damn good. That. Yeah, dude. My <laughs> sister is saying that be careful. The pee hens might start coming from outside. <laughs> okay, audience. That was low accurate, though, is what Adil says. Uh, but it was accurate, is what he's saying. Navdeep's given it a fifty. A uh, couple of thumbs ups. Just yeah. Uh, yeah, I see another fifty, but obviously that's one half of your talent, right? I know that Samantha yeah. is going to join in. So, so, so basically, uh, I mean, Sam's not as as talented as me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you set the bar so high, Devish. What but, are you going to say now? But uh, since uh, since we are on India Tennis Daily, uh, and she thought that she she'll do something special for the Indian audience. So what what do you? Someone think? said seriously, Devish, and put four exclamation marks. <laughs> okay, Sam, it's all you. I was supposed to be reading something, but I'm struggling not to laugh now. Um, okay, so I've been watching the show, and everyone has like serious musical talent in the Indian tennis community. Like everyone's been singing, playing instruments, dancing. I have no like... music whatsoever. Okay. Divij does. I don't. So I'm just going to help him. So he's a bit forgetful. So I'm going to with the lyrics. Of the song he's gonna sing, so it's he's oh. mainly talent, but a little bit of mine. So it's less of a talent and more of a new skill. I'm finding. So these these are the lyrics. Okay, please bear with me. I like me. it. I like it. David says it's good, but he's a bit biased. So yeah. Okay. Skill, talent, it's all the same thing. Okay. Right. Oh, I don't want to do this. Go for it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm embarrassed now. Okay. Um, Dil. <laughs> Dil ka dariya, beh hi gaya, ishq ibada ban hi gaya, kud ko mujhe tu sunte, 
maybe zaruret tu bangaya. Ba tilki nazaro neki sach kehi raha tari kasam. Tare bin abnalenge ek bidom tu che kitna chahane lage hum. Sam, let me just tell you something. You and me are on the same page as far as our Hindi skills are already, okay? <laughs> okay. As far as I, I can give you the 50, but let's hear what everyone else has to say. <laughs> that was class. So, any more, uh, any more uh, translations? Divish, are you singing for us too, bro? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be singing that song. So, uh, I hope oh. I remember the lyrics um, that Sam just, just, just said. I hope yes. so too. Hope you. Uh, yeah. Go for it. That's right, books. Dil ka dariya beh hi gaya, ishq ibadat ban hi gaya, khud ko mujhe. To sop de Mary Zaru that to Bangaya Bat de Luki Nazaroniki Such Keraha Teri Kasam Tedin Abnalinge. तुझे कितना जाने लगे हम तेरे बिन अब न लेंगे कभी तुझे कितना जाने लगे हम तेरे साथ हो जाए खत्म तुझे कितना चाहने लगे हम वाव आई एम जनरली सीइंग हंड्रेड्स एंड फिफ्टीज एंड एवरीथिंग सॉलिड एस फार एस ओ बोब्स ब्रो आई एम आई एम स्लोली लर्निंग हिंदी एंड नेहा स्लोली लर्निंग तमिल सो थ्रू द लॉकडाउन वी आर इंप्रूविंग आर स्किल्स आल्सो डोंट वरी बट Guys, it's an obvious 50. It's an obvious 50. That was fantastic. If it was not a 50, the only reason that you made it a 50 was Divish's pen trick. That pushed it over the edge. That was what, that's the one that got you to guarantee that 50. Yeah, I had to build you up to the, to the main talent. I swear. Congrats on joining the 900 Club, guys. Nine hundred and thirty points. So, guys, that means you take that divish. Would you take a ninety-three percent total? Oh yes, for sure. I I don't think sure. I'm expecting a high score at all. And like, <laughs> we accept. Sam, we... All I can say is you guys were on it. Sam was yeah. definitely on it through a section. You guys played it smart. You took the starting like you you played like a proper. Uh, yeah. How do I always say it? One day international. You know, you started off slowly and then you started knocking it out of the park towards right. the end. So it was solid stuff. So guys, uh, thank you again for being a part of Game Night with G, both of you. And what I also wanted to quickly uh, update everyone that's watching us is that we have another segment and a quick update that's coming on Chai with Raja, which I needed to mention. It's coming out tomorrow at 9 p.m. So guys, I know that everyone on Indian Tennis Daily has loved what pura has been doing with Chai with Raja. So take your time on Sunday and rest it out and join us at 9 tomorrow for a super fun segment as bonus edition update on Chai with Raja. Now, coming, nice. back, to, coming back to game night with G, guys. As you guys know, we are nearing the very end of our show and we have only two more episodes to go. Our final episode is on Saturday. Not yet going to reveal who our final guest is. We're going to do it for the first time where we go with a little bit of mystery to the final uh, guest. But as you all know, we do have a comment section. We've been doing it. It's the final comment section on Game Night with G. 
last chance for any team to join be a part of game night with g and have more fun through the lockdown here in india these guys have been having i i hope you guys were had a blast you guys were class and thanks for entertaining us uh, here in india no man thanks a lot thanks for having us um yeah it's been a it's been great fun uh, and uh, keep inspiring us with your fitness videos i i love watching it and like yeah get get inspired with them so yeah <laughs> I, I, it's it's funny you mentioned that because i today's workout was my intro for the show that's all i did for today you'll see it a little bit later but again thanks samantha you were class i hope your first instagram experience was fun did you enjoy it yeah it was good successful we did well <laughs> successful that's right successful 900 club team slow motion angreza doing a fantastic job reaching the 900 club a uh, couple more episodes to go like i said thanks a lot devish thanks sam for being a part of the show thanks thanks bye 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 guys bye All right everyone so there you have it another fantastic game night i would think a great uh, total setup by uh, team slow motion angreza 900 club just not not able to reach the 970 which i don't think a lot of teams will be able to do uh, thanks a lot for that rohan by the way and supriya for doing that but uh, that being said like i mentioned earlier tomorrow night okay it's chai with raja we guys have been entertained thoroughly through the lockdown with pura's antics on instagram i've been missing it personally so tomorrow night what we're going to do is have him come on the show for a special bonus update on what's happening with chai with raja if you want to hear his thoughts if you want to know what pura's doing on chai with raja and where we are headed please um, join us tomorrow at 9 pm to figure that out uh, what's bobs asking who are the leaders host <laughs> okay so bobs in case uh, you are having trouble seeing the board i'm just going to move the board a little closer as you can see team psycho racket with the 970 playing for fun not for points as he said just reminding us with that so guys like i mentioned tomorrow night 9 pm don't forget be here and watch some chai all right Bye everyone thanks for being a part of game night again stay safe stay safe see you guys bye